Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Reba Lakani. Today I will be doing two Valentine's Day looks. One's going to be derived from the other, like just to make it a little bit more smoky and dark. And um, that's all. If you're interested, please keep watching. Also, go ahead and check out my blog. It will be posted in the description down below. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye. To start, I'm going to go ahead and apply white chocolate to give me a clean and even base. Then I'm going to take Tarte's Rose to Clatter and I'm going to place that into my crease just to give me that pink undertone that I want for Valentine's Day as always. And then to add depth into my eye, I'm going to go ahead and take Tarte's, Tarte's Evening Affair into my outer V and slowly take it into my crease. I'm really focusing this onto the outer V and then just packing it there and then like blending it out into my crease. And then for my lid, I'm going to go ahead and take Rose Golden Rings on my ring finger. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid, of course, and just being really careful. And then in the end, I already went ahead and blended it out so there's no harsh lines. To highlight, I'm using Too Faced Champagne Truffle in the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone, just using my pinky finger and a narrow blending brush just for my brow bone. To complete the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply Maybelline Great Lash Mascara with a curved wand. Moving on to the face, I'm taking Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Bisque and applying it all over my face using a Morphe brush. This just gives a really beautiful, natural looking finish, so I decided to use it for Valentine's Day. Then to contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and taking Shadow Play and Subconscious and placing it in the hollows of my cheekbones and around my forehead just to add some warmth back into my face and just to really make everything look more skinny and beautiful. Then to highlight, I'm using Lyric and Lucio and taking that under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, and under my cheekbones just to give myself a more lifted effect. For blush, I'm using Tarte's Impress all over my cheekbones, and then to highlight my cheekbones to even make them look even more lifted, I'm using Champagne Truffle from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. For lips, I'm using Tarte's Lip Surgeons in the shade Flashy, and, th and this is the final look. I think it's super flirty and definitely a good thing for daytime. And then now moving on to the next look. Starting from where I finish, I'm going to go ahead and apply a piece of tape to give me a clean edge. Then taking Nooner from the Naked 3 palette, I'm going to go ahead and place that into my crease. And then taking Dark Side onto my outer corner and then blending that towards my lid just to give it a more ombre effect and just to darken that area up a lot more. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Factory onto my pointer finger and I'll pat that onto my lid just to add a lid shade that's not too bright because it is a nighttime look. And then I wanted to add some more pink, so taking Trick onto my finger, I'll pat that onto where I put Factory just to add the pink back in, but to keep that darkness there, if that makes any sense. Then to highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Burnout and place that into my inner corner and also highlight my brow bone with that. And then I went ahead and curled my eyelashes and I applied Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara with a curved wand. And then I also wanted to darken the eyes a bit more, so I rimmed them with Maybelline's Define Line, and I placed that into my waterline and onto my tight line. And this looks really painful, but I swear it really isn't. For the lips, I wanted to go for like a candy apple kind of thing, so I took NARS Soft Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella and applied that onto my lips at first I rimmed them and then I filled them in and then taking Maybelline's 450 Mauve Mania I placed that into the center of my lip just to kind of give it a gradient effect but then I wanted to make it glossy and candy apple-y so I just took Victoria's Secret's lip plumper and applied that to the center of my lip and that's all for this look for the face I just redid what I did before and this is the final look I really like this for the nighttime it's just super flirty and cute, and that's what we're looking for. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. And if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys didn't, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment about what you're going to be doing for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be sitting at home. I already know. And also, don't forget to check out this post on my blog. And I will see you next time. Bye.